The Harley Davidson CEO must go. Watch this video. Hello, welcome to Revelate Alpha. I hope you're all well. So, over the last few months, because of the whole DEI controversy, many people have been saying the CEO of Harley Davidson must go. I've made videos about this as well, reflecting on what people are saying, where I believe that the company is going. So, let me just put my cards right on the table here. I believe that he should go. And it's not because I have any personal vendetta against him. I just think that the strategy of Harley Davidson under his under his control, under his leadership and directorship, is basically it's gone. It's it's wayward. It's not working. Now, the previous video I made, I talked about the decline of Harley Davidson has been inevitable, and their third quarter results have just been published, and it's not great reading. In fact, it's pretty depressing if you're a Harley Davidson analyst in many ways. Many of these uh, analyst papers which I read and reports on these uh, financial reports from Harley Davidson, which I read, they're, they're all saying it's it's not great for Harley Davidson. The sales are, are reducing. The, where they were making profits before in terms of financial services, that's all dropping away as well. Their brand, their merchandising income, that's all dropping away as well. So if you're ahead of a company that is failing and your strategy of which you're responsible for is failing, then shouldn't you be going? Shouldn't you hand this over to somebody else? Shouldn't there be somebody else who can take charge? The problem is, the problem is with Harley Davidson is that the board of directors from Harley Davidson fans perspective from riders, bikers, owners, dealerships, well, people kind of think, well, they're all the same. They're not really true Harley Davidson people. Many question whether any of these actually ride motorcycles. Now, I don't know if that's true or not, and I'm not really sure whether that's truly important. But what is important is that if you have people who work in your company, or certainly at the directorship level, or certainly at a, a CEO level, then they've got to be more engaged with their own product in which they're selling. You've got to be a walking showman. You've got to be a walking billboard in many ways for your own product or your range of products. Now, this doesn't mean that they have to buy Harley Davidson motorcycles in this case and wear Harley Davidson t-shirts and ride into work every day. But they have to be a bit more engaging and a lot more prominent within the, the motorcycle space. They they're just not those kinds of people. So if the CEO goes or was voted out or decides to leave, then any one of the other directors may be just as bad as him. They, let's not forget that they're all in this together. So what does this mean for the future of the company? Does it need somebody from the outside to come in and take over? Does this need a corporate buyout? Does this need a new group of directors to come on board? Does this need a brand new CEO to change direction? Or does this simply need for the CEO, the existing CEO, Jochen Zeitz, to develop a new strategy, to come up with a new strategy? My thoughts are that I don't think there's anybody else out there right now, or certainly within the Harley Davidson structure, who can be promoted to CEO and anything would change. And I don't think there's anybody else out there who can come in and say, we're going to take over Harley Davidson and there's going to be uh, all change here and we're going to get back to winning ways. I just don't think that's realistic either. Now, if that were the case that an external investor would come in and take over from Harley Davidson, forget it being American owned anymore. Because the likelihood is it's going to come from foreign investment. If you took, let's say, Elon Musk, for example, and say, oh, okay, Elon Musk would come into Harley Davidson and he would see it, right? Well, do you think his focus would be more on Harley Davidson or more on Livewire? So he's not the kind of candidate that you want either. So if we're talking about immediate change, if we're talking about radical change from Harley Davidson right now, it's got to come from within. And then they've got to be working on steps to bring in new directors and look for the future. The roadmap right now should be looking at a new CEO in the next two or three years, but immediately they have to change a strategy. That comes from, from the board of directors, that comes from the CEO himself. Whether that's going to happen or not, we don't know. If that doesn't happen, if they don't get new people in, if they don't change the direction of the company in terms of rewire and hardwire, then the decline from Harley-Davidson will continue.
it's it's inevitable it's going to continue if you watch my last video when i talked about this i said it's inevitable it's been like this way for a few years because harley davidson haven't reacted to the market out there and the evolution of the market out there they keep on trying to pump out more and more expensive product if they're selling them at a higher price point but as i said those kinds of people who were buying those kinds of motorcycles i made a video a long time ago where they were talking about Harley Davidson, they're looking for high value customers or high value consumers for their high value products. That's what they're looking for. But those customers aren't there anymore. Certainly not in numbers. That's why you haven't got new motorcycle sales in the numbers that you really want. That's going to give you the profit margins that you want. When you're seeing a 40% decline on third quarter results from this time last year, you've got a problem and you need to deal with it straight away. So they've basically got a couple of months to get their act together. They got a couple of months with the autumn motorcycle shows and then when they have their reveal in January. That'll be very interesting to see what happens between now and then. But for me, there has to be a change in Harley Davidson. There has to be a change right at the top. The CEO has to change direction or he has to go. But I'm not sure there's anybody else that can come in right now and do anything different. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you like what I do here, well, just keep on watching the videos and I'll catch you again. Bye now.